like to share with you on this week's parsha, Shalach, something very nice from the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzhak Zatzal. In this week's parsha, we have the beginning, the famous story of the ten spies, and then after that whole episode finishes, the trader in the middle of the parsha gives us the whole law about the pouring of the wine the measurements, the proper measurements for each sacrifice and offering as the Torah describes. And then the Torah continues and says, even a convert who lives amongst you should bring exactly these measurements. And then the Torah concludes these words, Hakohol, the congregation, Chuka Achas, one decree, Lechem for you, Velagir Hagor. And to the convert who lives among you, uh, among, uh, amongst the Jewish people. Now, the Gemara, the interesting Gemara in Kedushin, Daf Ayin Gimel Amid Beis, Rabbi Yehuda brings a proof from this verse. The, the Gemara has over there a discussion concerning the status of a convert. There's certain people who are not allowed to marry in the, into the congregation. The worst case is, God forbid, a mamzer or a mamzeres. They should not marry into the congregation of the Jewish people. And the Gemara discusses what is the status of a convert. And Rabbi Yehuda says from this verse, in our parashik, it teaches you a convert is equal like any Jew. He's part of the congregation. And it brings a proof because it says in the Pesach, Hakohol, the congregation, Chukah has one decree, Lachem Vlagir Hagor, and to you and to the convert. So we see that it's one decree and they're part of the Kohol. Because really the word Hakohol in the beginning of this verse is really extra. The Pesach just should have started. Chukah Achas, it should be one decree, Lachem for you, Vlagir Hagor, to the convert that, that lives by you. That they should all bring this uh, this measurement. Why does it have to say the word hakohol? I believe it's because over here a few four interesting rimosim, which I would like to share. Number one, he asks, why was it Rabbi Yehuda? Number two, where exactly do we see in the words hakohol chuka? It's a decree for the congregation that it includes in these words the uh, a, a convert. And also, in Torah, every single thing is so exact that the letters of the word kohol is kuf, hey, lamed. The letters of chukas, ches, kuf, hey. And since the Torah chose exactly these letters to make the word kohol and to make the word chuka decree and to make kohol congregation, in these letters have to be hinted the law that even a ca- even a convert is part of the call. And how do we see it from the letters? And also, it has to fit, as usual, by Rabbi Levi Yitzhak, in the Digimatria, in the numerical value. And he says something very, very beautiful. If you look at all these letters, says Rabbi Levi Yitzhak, Kohol is a kuf, he said, hey and lamet. Chuka, ches, kuf, hey. All these letters have something in common. And that is that the difference between these letters are all in the left side of the letter. If you look at a ches, the top is the same one line, the right side has a line. And then the left side is where you're going to see a lamed has basically a, top, a line across, a little round on the side, on the right side. And a hey too, the only difference is all in the left side. By the ches, by the hey, you have a small little foot. By the ches, that little foot goes up. But the difference between the ches and the hey of chuka is only in the in the left side. The kuf, that same foot goes a little longer. But in the top and the right, they're all the same. Kohol, same thing. Kuf, hey, lamet. The hey and the kuf are pretty much the same in the top and the right. The, the, and the right side. The whole difference is the left. The hay is a small little foot, and the kuf, it goes down lower. And by the lamed, 
that same that little foot instead of it staying on the bottom it goes on top on the left side so all the differences between these all these letters kohol chuka kuf hey lamet ches kuf hey is all in the left side said Reb so this is exactly what a gear is all about we all know it says the chassidus and all over the trader we have we have the right side which is chasadim which shows on revelation goodness kindness revelation of hashem the left symbolizes gevur smoil and from there you can have concealment of hashem and that's exactly where a gear comes from a gay was a convert before it was not part of the jewish nation so it was like part of that smoil that left that the uh, nations of the world which is Hashem is hidden over there, you know, see, that comes from the left side, that Givur, that Smoil. And what? It elevated itself and turned to the right. It connected to the Jewish people, which is on the right side. So all these letters show that there's something on, that the left side, all the changes connected to the letter itself and became a holy letter. And that's why a gay symbolizes, yes, we're going to take, the, on the left side, we're going to connect it to the letter, and we're going to make something holy about it. Continues Rabbi Yitzhak and says, there is an interesting Gemara in Baba Kama, Dav Kuv Gimel Amit Beis, and the Gemara said like this, There was a story where the Chosid, Gemara continues, wherever it says in Gemara, it must be Rabbi Yehuda, or Rabbi Yehuda Ben Boba, or Rabbi Yehuda Ben Loy. Oh, but the name which was Rabbi Yehuda. We see from this Gemara, said Rabbi Levi Yitzchak, Yehuda symbolized Chesed. And that's what he said. Oh, like we said before, again, I want him to be on the right side, which is also Chesed, kindness. Bring him in. He's part of the Kahol. And now you see how beautiful it is. We know Avram Avinu, he was Midas Chesed. And that's why, as it says in Parshas, Chayisore, Besa Nefesh, Asha Osu, Lech Lecho, Besa Nefesh, Asha Osu, Bechoran, the souls that they made in the city of Choran, we, the Medrash says, Avram was Magaya, the man. He converted the men, and Sora converted the women. They were involved in converts to bring them into Kedusha. Take the left the left side and bring them into the right. That's Chesed. That's Avram Avino. And with this, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak says, how beautiful it fits with the Gematria. If you take these two words, Kohol and Chuka, one decree, a congregation. What does that up to? Kohol is 135. Chuka, 113. Add them up together, 135 and 113, you get to 248. 248 is exactly the gematria of Avraham. Showing that this Pasuk hints, Avraham is chesed, we want to take the Geirim and bring them into the realm of Kedusha. They're fully accepted in the Kohol. And just to conclude what it says in the Pesach, another Gematria, in the Pesach it says, HaKohol Chuka Achas, extra hey, the congregation. Sergio Blavitsa, a beautiful hint, if you take the hey also, HaKohol is 140, and Chuka is 113. 113 and, uh, and 140 is exactly 250. HaKohol is 140, Chuka is 113, together it's exactly 253. 253, Sir Rabbi is exactly the same gematria that says in the Pasuk, Geirim, Gimel, Reish, Yudmem, 253. Same gematria as Hakohol Chuka. And this is why you see it all fits together. Rabbi Yehuda says from this Pasuk, Hakohol Chuka Achas, we learn a game is mutter, is fully accepted in the kahol. It's hinted both in the shape and in the design of the letter, taking the left and connecting it to, to bringing it, elevating into Kedusha. It's hinted in the, in the name Rabbi Yehuda, who's chesed. He's like Avram Avinu. It's also hinted in the gematria, both the gematria of kol and chukah, and also hakohol and chukah. Everything fits that a gay is 100% invited, elevated into the kahol and can marry any Jewish, can marry any Israelis and without any problem.